All right, what's going on guys? So it's gonna get a little loud in here. We've got some car washing going on. Ferrari's right there, X6 is over there, and I'm doing the Camaro right now in Avery Roaring Thunder. Now I'm gonna roll, out, I've already prepped this side, so I'm gonna roll out the film and cut this to maximize, cut the panels out to maximize usage and so that we have good coverage at the same time, all right? So this door doesn't actually lock close because once you remove the door handle, it has a safety mechanism that keeps the door unlocked. So you might notice that, let's see if you can see in the video. Yes, so in the video down here, the side skirt runs pa way past the pillar over here, all right? We don't need to actually cut it the length of the side skirt, we need to cut it the length of the pillar, if not a little bit longer. The reason being is that I'll show you in a minute, but we're gonna take the the side skirt from the wheel well area and shift it all forward once we cut it out. All right, so let's get this rolled out. I like to keep the film on a stand simply because it keeps it off the floor. So let's get another magnet here to stop it from flopping over. Cool. So what I want to do is come about four inches past the pillar and about four inches past the rear quarter panel. This will give us enough film to be able to reposition properly, all right? Sorry about the noise again, I do apologize. Also, what you wanna sh make sure you do is take a compressor to the vehicle, because as you notice, the gas lid is off. And with the gas lid being off, unless you clean in there really thoroughly, you're gonna have a lot of debris and contaminants kicking around in the gas lid area. All right, so we look good about here. Shift that over there. Okay. Now what we want to do is position the film properly, all right? So fine if it touches the ground over there, we're gonna be shifting it. Cool. So we start to get to see what this looks like, which is awesome. What I want to do is pull the body line through. As you can see right there, I have some wrinklage going on right here. Which is fine if I can't get it completely straight. There we go. That's what it needed. Cool. So first things first, we're going to cut the side skirt out. So we're going to, because we're going to wrap all these pieces individually, even though it is a black car, we're going to do them all separately. So what I do is when I'm doing this alone is take the film and pull it back a little bit and stick it to the bumper. All right, now what I need to do is I need to find where the quarter panel meets the side skirt, which is right about to there, okay? We don't want to come too high and we don't want to come too low. I'm gonna double check behind, making sure that is my line, which it is. And we're gonna come below that, all right? Now, as far as the door goes, we can actually come right up above the door. Because we're gonna cut this door out in a totally different way. And I'll show you in a second. Alright, so let's get this piece rolled up. It's kind of a cool looking color, it has like a thermal look to it. Wait till you see the new color that's coming out that I'm getting. So, I think it's gonna be a few weeks still, but we'll have it shortly. And that'll be the new color that I'm doing my car in. It's more of a concept film. 
something to play around with. All right, so I'm just gonna take the side skirt and plop it down in the window. Now, what we wanna do is cut out the pillar, okay? Let that maybe drop a little bit if it needs to. That's fine, one magnet there is good. And we need one, one for the door, air, sorry, area. There's the door, super easy to see since it protrudes. Comes down right there, okay? And we're gonna cut that right off. What I'm going to do is actually cut the film a little higher on the pillar. So, I can move the door down. I'm not concerned about the pillar because we can actually take the pillar and bend it slightly. magnet to hold it here so there's the door it doesn't have to be perfect because we have extra film on each end I'm just making sure that I'm following the line cool all right door is cut out what I'm going to do is shift the vinyl back do the door first you can do this in any way order you want and I'm going to take the compressor since we do have some dusting going on which means dusting means we have paper particles from cutting the back cutting through the backing paper the extra film I have. Cool. Easy, right? Now you're at, you might ask yourself, is this a directional film? I believe so. I haven't looked into it yet, but I'm, I run everything directionally anyways. So what I want to do is anchor it. Kind of sucks that the door moves a lot, which makes it a little bit difficult. But that's the way it goes on this one. All right, so I'm just gonna take the film and blast it out slightly. Just smooth it all out. it in as I have tension on it kind of around here perfect there's the door handle it's exactly where I want it this car doesn't really have a hard body line it's way low so I'm gonna work from about here okay. and I'm gonna use some shield guard again because I don't like how it doesn't glide without a little solution. All right. So again, gonna pull, making sure that we have full coverage. Cool, let's bang this out. So again, I'm gonna hold the film out so I can go really fast. So I don't like to waste time and wait for the air release. The air release is, again, there to help you. It's not there to do the job for you. If I actually hold the film off the car, I can squeegee faster. Make sure you're putting it down good pressure. And make sure you're overlapping each pass with the squeegee. Recess here. I'm going to lay into the recess right there. It's all about doing a thorough installation. Again, the squeegee is not very conformable, so I'm missing some spots. I'm just being thorough.
Almost there. I'm actually gonna go as far to say that I don't really like this squeegee. It's too, it's too rigid. It might have better application uses for uh, flat surfaces, but this is not good for car wraps. So I'm gonna switch it out after this one. Cause it's slowing me down. Cool. Again, if I don't hold the film up, it's gonna to start to trap air, which it already is. Outline your door handle, always. Got a little ahead of myself. There we go. So for a gloss film, it's very glossy. I'll show you guys what it looks like all in person afterwards. So I'm gonna go right in to the window area. The window trim area, sorry. And this way, we don't have to cut on any paint because I can trim it off right at the top. Cool. All right, so that's ready for trimming. Let's get rid of the magnet. So what I'm gonna do is push the door down as much as I can. Doesn't want, doesn't want to let me. We do have to be particularly careful for this area over here because we don't have a lot of room. So we have to hold the door down and cut. Making sure that we're giving ourse ourselves enough film to be able to roll around the opposite side. Cool. Just making sure we're good. All right, we're good. Let's. Finish all this up. So again, I'm gonna to start to be doing some GoPro stuff with point of view videos so you guys can see more. Since that seems to be a big request. All right, so now I might as well just actually open the door since the door is already open. And let's move that. Just stuck on, stuck on the bottom. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna fold the film underneath with my fingers, as you can see, slightly around the edge. Let's pull it around the edge slightly. I can see a paint drip here. I don't know if the car has been repainted or not, but I can definitely see a paint drip. I'm just gonna pull it around slightly. Finish that off. Cool. And then we can cut this out. I recommend doing this section first before actually cutting everything out 
because if you make a mistake in here, you can go back and pull the vinyl back and, and fix it up. So back of the blade, I'm running on the back side of the door, all right? Let's run it across the top. And then let's do the rest. It's a paint trip right here. Alright, now I'm going to come this way because I'm right handed. It's going to be a little bit easier. Let's go over the edges with heat. And if you're paying attention, you can see that I got a piece of knifeless tape already inside the door. That's because that's where exactly where I'm going to cut the film and lay it into. So again, I'm going to switch squeegees after this because I don't like the one I'm using. Thought I'd give it a whirl, but I don't like it. It's fine. For over here, I'm going to go over this edge with our finger first. Make sure we get it around slightly. Then I'm going to use the squeegee, pushing down on the hard corner up there. And I have to push the door in, so I, have to, I need better access. Okay. Now that I've done that, I'm going to get it in there with one of my wrap sticks. Actually, use a different one. This will probably work better. I still see a bit of air in here, simply because the squeegee isn't allowing me to push it out. If your squeegee is too rigid, it will be a problem. All right, and then let's do this last little bit right here. I'm gonna put my wrap glove on and do the door handle cup. A little bit of heat, push start from the middle, work your way out to the air release points. you're going to want to use your wrap glove. All right. Pretty. It's all done. Let's trim this out very carefully. It's still a little warm. It's harder to cut film when it's warm, just so you know.
perfect. You see a lot of air right there. Let's get it out. I have to go over the whole thing. I'm gonna grab my other squeegee right now. And we're gonna knock out the quarter panel. to see what that's going to look like on the car. I think it looks pretty awesome. If you guys think this color is awesome, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys want to see more with what I'm doing here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you, you subscribe to see the end result, if anything. And thanks for watching. Take care.